we've got to see if the built-in handles so we can see if we pick them up. Yeah, you see it's nice and dry under there. So that's a good spot for a snake to hide out when it's raining. Hey guys, I'm in North Florida on the way back home from my trip and uh, thought I'd take a quick stop here to take a look for the pygmy rattlesnake. This is particular subspecies is the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. If you want to look for snakes yourself this way, probably the best thing to do is to check under palm fronds uh, because you can pretty safely pick them up from the back. Uh, pieces of bark tend to have more snakes under them, but they can be tough to lift up. If you want to do that, you should probably have a stick or use your foot, things like that, because you can lift it up and there'll be a snake under there and it could just bite you because you just disturbed it. Grab the end like that. Clearings here can be pretty good because uh, if you can find the stump that was left behind by the tree that fell and created the clearing, uh, that can have some big pieces of bark or wood near it that you can check underneath and sometimes you can find snakes hiding under those. So uh, let's go check this area out. Also, it's just that they like sunny spots. Just after a rain like this, they could be coming out moving, trying to sit in the sun, soak up some rays. See anything under there? Well, you can call it a day here. If you want. This looks like a good place to check for snakes here. These big pieces of bark, especially since it's just rained, it's a good place to sort of check underneath carefully. Nothing under that one. I don't want to disrupt it too much, but there's some good pieces of bark around here. There's a good one here. I'll check under there. It's a big space under here. And uh, like I said, it just rained, so you could be having snakes hiding under these pieces of bark just for shelter. Let's go check over here. There's another good piece. Let's check under there. No. I'll go over here. Oh, whoa, there he is. Just came out from underneath that piece of bark there. That's the pygmy rattlesnake. It's actually a species of Massasauga. In Ontario, we have the Eastern Massasauga. And here, this is the same genus, Cistrurus. This is the pygmy rattlesnake. Here's a little bit of a better view on the side there. See its eye, cat-like pupil. Tells you it's a pit viper. Here, we're gonna try and show you the rattle here. Yeah, there it is. See, all coiled up under there. There you go. There it is. So you would have been just totally coiled up like that in the rain. And that's what he would have been doing. Just taking shelter. We'll put that piece of bark back over him when we're done here. Just wanted a full body shot. There it is, beautiful snake. If you look carefully there, yeah, there it is. You can just see the rattle there. And I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven segments on the rattle there. There we go. And there it is. Yep, yeah, he's fine. Yep. Yeah. Too hard to float around. How about this guy here? Stop. Got another uh, pygmy rattlesnake here. This one just right out in the open. Uh, it's gotten a little bit sunnier out now, so it makes sense that they're coming out to sort of warm themselves up. This one is just uh, sitting on top of a palm frond. May have been hiding under it. 
Here, I'll show you. There he is. Or she. There you go. Just sunning itself there. This one's smaller than the last one. Get a good shot from over here. Good angle. Only about two or three rattle segments on there. Nice.